I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister.
The Abyss Order. Enemies of the human race. Even the underground networks rarely come across any information on them. With that said, it was a bit of a hassle, but I managed to dig up a few clues. Really? That quickly? You really are well connected, Master Luke. Come to think of it, Mr. Big Animal God Barbatos, why exactly do you need the help of mere humans? Uh, how do I put it? The Seven, as people now know them, were once known as the Seven Arch. Each Archon presides over their own part of Tabat. That is the only in performing this duty can we attain power. But I don't like the idea of ruling Mondstadt, and I don't feel Mondstadt would really- Go forth and establish a city of freedom without rule. We have not forgotten Barbados' wish for Mond- Jean, you're such a devotee- Maybe someone got a little too free and is just too lazy to care- Uh, however it may have come to be, I haven't been back to Mondstadt for an extended period. Without a doubt, I am now the weakest Archon among the Seven. Aw, <laughs> you flatter me. Oh, such a humble god. Is it a blessing? <clears throat> but we digress. Let's get back to the topic at hand. The common enemy of all mankind. We have tracked the Abyss Mage to the vicinity of the winery. I cannot stress enough how important it is to not let it escape. Okay, fast. Ah! <laughs> 
what's this? After the Abyss Mage was defeated, a certain energy dispersed from its body. It seems that energy was being used to cut off the connection between me and the- Huh. Do you know of Storm Terror's lair? But Jane and Master Diluc are no doubt aware of it. After Dvalin woke up, he took the ancient ruins as his lair. As it was with the storms that previously cut Mondstadt off from the outside world, the end- But now, as the energy dispersed from the Abyss Mage, I was able to read the rhythmic flow of how the barrier's magic was woven. <laughs> I must admit, it sounds even more horrendous than a chorus of hilly churls. It should be enough to let us break through the storm barrier and reach Storm Terror's lair. Which means we're going to confront Dvalin? I'm fine with that. Jean is the one who wishes to avoid any direct confrontation. No. When there are no other options left, it is my responsibility to alter our course of action. If slaying him is our only choice, I will gladly become the knight that leads the charge. Fortunately, we have yet to need to go that far. Hmm? By that, you- I mean that the Holy Liar is not our trump card. Our real trump card? The Traveler? Correct. But you have a much more precious- The impurities in the tears and the curse that binds Dvalin. Which means- You tone-deaf bard, you've seen what Dvalin is like when he's ticked off? She'll be swallowed whole before she even gets- Hey, nice plan. Where the- I am with you, honorary knight. Oh, so we just need to fight monsters from the abyss and a dragon. No- Humans aren't without their strengths. And so, epic actions of brave heroes finally leads to this 11th hour. <laughs> Master? Huh? Huh? Faster? Okay, faster.
It's a storm barrier! It looks so dangerous. Leave it to me. Although this wooden liar is all... I don't need the liar to break through this kind of storm. Enemy attack! Prepare yourselves! The stage will need to be cleared before I can begin my performance. Generally speaking, such chores are not the concerns of the performer himself. Wait, what's going on? There shouldn't be any hilly trail camps in the vicinity of Storm Terror's lair. do not venture into areas with high elemental it puts a heavy burden on their bodies the abyss order must be manipulating them behind the scene and presumably spreading their forces without further ado 
I suppose I can play faster if my only on- It actually opened! You're not entirely useless- This is it. We are now entering Storm Terror. Watch yourselves. Let's move. Yeah. <laughs> 